Welcome to War Thunder with Subdued. How y'all doing? Well, I'm going to make this video basically about the jets of the upcoming patch 1.99. Now, I did have a bunch of video of me testing them in uh, test flight and a couple of videos of flying the uh, couple of different planes in custom battles but they don't really they were rather on the large side so I kind of set them aside because they would have taken hour upon hour upon hour to upload whereas this one probably isn't going to take as long let's start with the F3 H2 Demon. A Demon is, in my opinion, a plane we should have gotten before we got the F4 Phantom. I, I still have no idea why Gaijin does things the way they do it, but we got it finally. So, here's the deal. The flight model in the dev server is not ready for prime time at all in fl uh, keyboard and mouse control the rudder oper it operates in reverse literally anytime you want to turn it turns the rudder the wrong way um, that's number one. That really throws your aim off badly. Uh, if you roll it hard enough and just use the elevators for turning, it's fine. But if you're just trying to do a subtle turn, you, the rudder goes the other way and you're flying sideways. Not a lot of fun. Makes life really difficult. Um... Hopefully that'll get cleared up. One of the other problems there is, is the air brakes on top of the wings. They are operating like spoilers. Now, that may be true. They may act like spoilers. I have not seen anything to indicate that that's how they're supposed to operate. They are supposed to be part of the air brake system. And they are not opening when the air brake is engaged. So that's something that needs to be looked at and addressed. Yes, there are air brakes on the top of the wing and on the side of the fuselage. And that basically is my big complaint about the F3H Demon. Um, well, it overheats but yeah it is what it is and uh it only overheats if you go into afterburner and i'm still questioning why the engine overheats in afterburner now yes your tail cone may overheat but your oil isn't going to go out of spec high and yeah, I guess you could say the engine gets hot, but as soon as you come off that afterburner, it all should cool down. Unless you hold it on too long and you burn out your tail cone. At which point, your afterburner should shut off and you should just be stuck with whatever you've got. Because the afterburner is really not part of the engine. It is an attachment to the back of the engine. All right. The German planes, I really don't have anything to say about that. Because, well, other than those of you that bought the G91 R4 in the Italian line are, well, jokes on you because you can get it for free in the German line. 
and we're also getting the F-86K for the Germans after the uh, Canadian Sabre. Uh, USSR. I really don't have anything bad to say about the Su-7. The uh, Su-7 is going to be an interesting plane. I do believe, though, that it is only being placed in Tier 6 for one reason, and that's its speed. Everything else about the plane says it should be in Tier 5. Now, it is a fast plane, but it's also a, well, from what I understand, it was mostly used for ground strike. They would come in low, shooting at the ground, killing and killing and killing and whatever. Not that it ever went to war, but there you have it. Um... There is no air-to-air -air weaponry. The flight model appears to be pretty good. It flies quite nicely, so I don't have any complaints there. Great Britain. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love the Scimitar. Nova 29R. Absolutely great model. Whoever developed the flight model, though, uh, the plane has no rudder authority. And with no rudder authority, it makes it extremely difficult to handle at high speed. At low speed, it's not too bad. Anything below 400 miles an hour, it handles beautifully. You get above 400, 450 miles an hour, and all of a sudden, you got no control with the rudder. It's just there. It's not doing a darn thing. Um, the nose wants to wander all over the place. Now, I don't know if that's what the Scimitar actually did, but that's the way it's operating right now. And when it operates like that, it makes it very, very hard to get kills. Um, but, on the plus side, the thing accelerates like a beast. And it, it may not be supersonic, but its climb rate is all that and a bag of chips, too. The thing will climb. Uh, I took it out on uh, Alternate History Spain. And I was at 26,000 feet before I knew what was going on. And I was looking down on the whole shooting match. Good plane for climbing. But once you get up to high speed, that rudder just doesn't do a darn thing. Uh, let's see... The only prop plane we're getting is in Japan, and I really don't have anything to say about it. It was a prop plane. Torpedo bomber that can also carry some bombs. That's about all I got to say about that. Italy. Oh, Italy, Italy, Italy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The F-104S is going to be one of those planes that people have jonesed for but don't really know what to do with. The F-104S, and it wouldn't matter if it was the S or the G or the A or the C, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is it's an F-104. And as an F-104, it's fast. It accelerates magnificently. 
it just doesn't turn. So anyone that gets behind you and fires an AIM 9B, you're dead. Now you might be able to outrun it if they fire it from far enough away. But if somebody who happens to be at low speed that you've missed because you were going too fast hammers around in a tight turn and pumps one off at you, you're dead. You cannot outmaneuver an AIM 9B. Yeah. Think about that one. That's not to say that I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm going to be looking to get the F-104. If I don't get it in Italy, if it comes to the U.S. line, I'll get it in the U.S. line. If it doesn't come to the U.S. line, I'll get it in the Italy line, or the German line, or the Japanese line, wherever else it comes. Because the F-104 was one of those planes that we sold a lot of. Uh, oh, by the way, landing speed on that thing, you best be coming in. You're going to come in hot. You're going to come in hot. Okay. The French. Oh boy, the French. The French, the French, the French. You're getting your mirage. Enjoy. Uh, just don't think you're going to be dogfighting. It's not that maneuverable. It will snap around, but you're going to lose all that speed. You're going to lose speed so fast, and it's just going to be like, oh my God, what, where, where, why am I not going anywhere? Um, let's put it like this. You can go from 700 miles an hour to 300 miles an hour in a 90 degree turn. That's dumping 400 miles an hour in a 90 degree turn. Now, I didn't have my plane improved when I was testing it out, but that's a lot of speed just wasted. The missiles, though, oh my. Um, yeah, you want the French missiles. You don't want the Sidewinders, you want the French missiles. Those are some high maneuver capable missiles and long range. The big one that you're going to be able to get your hands on has got a 30 mile range. Detection range is a lot shorter. Detection range is, uh, I think, 5.5 five, 5 .5 kilometers, but it's got a range of 30 kilometers, excuse me, not miles, 30 kilometers. Which means when you fire that thing and it's got like a huge overload, it's got good tracking capability. But even if you're in the F-104 running at full bore, and he fires it from the, let's say, four kilometers away. That missile's got the endurance to chase you down. That's, that's got uh, some serious range to it. So, that's pretty much all the new stuff that's coming into the game. Some new, some not so new, just retreads from another nation. Uh, Sweden is getting a pair of, well, they're getting the, uh, similar to the AIM-9J. I 
don't remember what the Swedish designators are. RB29, whatever. I don't know for sure. It doesn't really matter that much, but they're similar to the AIM-9J. They'll have uh, high maneuverability capable, 5.5 uh, kilometer detection range, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that will be going on to the uh, Draken. So, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I had a whole bunch of different videos for each plane, and I really wasn't too happy with how big the files were, so I kind of declined to upload them. That and I kind of ran out of disk space. But that's a function of me not cutting them down. You know, stopping the video when I didn't need to and whatever. That's my fault. But this discussion should pretty much cover everything that anyone really needs to know about these planes. Um, two of them have serious flight model issues. Uh, one of them has flight model and model um, mechanics issues. The, uh, the Demon has got some issues. It, it's not ready for prime time right now, but that was a dev server. If they run another dev server, they may have fixed everything. Um, beautiful plane. I won't be a demon driver. I want to sit in the chair. If you don't know what the chair is, you need to go look it up. This sub dude signing off. Y'all have a pleasant today. A better tomorrow. We'll catch you in the sky in Air Realistic on the good maps. Good night, folks. <laughs>